Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, really glad to be here at FOSTEM. Thanks to the organizers, the staff, everyone, volunteers helping out here for a great conference so far. Um, I would like to uh, take your time a little bit to explain an uh, e-government testing machine. It's a project that we are um, working on. Uh, the department that I'm working for is uh, called Free Software. Is called Free Software and Open Technologies, and basically uh, we're there to support uh, companies and also local governments uh, in the support of uh, integrating free software in their systems and um, helps help spread spread free, free software. Um, but let's let's first of all get to the problem. Now, um, the problem is. Um, I'm sure here there are uh, people from different uh, European countries and that we know, uh, where's my laser pointer? Okay, there we go. Um, that everything has, has gone online. Our governments are really pushing to make all their services accessible online, which is a good thing. Um, we just have to make sure that um, all these services can be accessed using uh, GNU Linux OpenBSD systems. Now, um, our, our system, at least, uh, in Bolzano, is using a, um, a smart card to log in. Um, I, I think that the, most of the European countries all pretty much have the same... Um, oh, damn, I think, I think my camera just crashed there. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, um, at, at any rate, it looks like this. I hope you guys at the back can see. It's just got my name on it and a little chip there. So it's a, uh, the typical... Um, health card that, that, that you have. Anyway, so what gets done here is that, uh, let me grab, grab the microphone, it might, might be a little bit easier. Okay, okay, there we go. Um, yes, so it uses a smart card reader to, to log in. Uh, we need to make sure that this works under GNU Linux OpenBSP, and um, most importantly as well, all of this um, all of this testing that eventually has to be done, it needs to be automated. Now, um, I just want to take a bit of your time to explain what type of services we have. We basically have on our e-government website um, uh, three types of access level. You've you got low, you've got uh, no login, so you can just get um, uh, some basic forms for basic services. You've got a medium which just requires a, a username and password. You can do this just by registering. But of course, the local government doesn't know then that uh, you, you say who you are, because obviously you can fake an email address and all that. And then you've got a, a higher level, and this is really with your smart card. You've, you've registered, you, you've gone to the officials and said, look, you're, this is who I am. And uh, with this level of access, uh, you can access basically everything there, or all the services. Um, for an example of types of services, this probably varies from, from country to country. Um, you can pay stuff like uh, property tax, uh, garbage disposal. If, if you're a first-time uh, homeowner, then you can look for a grant for, uh, from the local government, register your kids at kindergartens, uh, stuff like that. So it's uh, um, really, really critical that uh, um, uh, fast, free, uh, fast free software users are not left behind. Um, the project that we have here, uh, it's quite a mouthful, it's called the Free Software Client Reference System. And what this is, all that we mean with this, with this long word is we are referring to some specific uh, GNU Linux open BSD distribution. So we can say, okay, we're going to take one for now, and we use that as a reference system and do all our tests and make sure that um, we can access all the e-government uh, uh, services at, at least on this system. And we use this as a reference system to test with as well. Um, so the main goal of this um, project is to make sure that we can uh, um, run everything. Uh, uh, everything can be uh, uh, accessed, all services can be accessed. And this, of course, must, must all be automated. Now, I've, I've got a video running in the background just having a screencast of what's going on. Um, pretty much all of you guys here are using uh, uh, Linux, and I'm sure that uh, you use Bash and Cron to to automate a lot of your jobs, uh, to automate a lot of your, your work. Uh, me, personally, I'm quite lazy, and uh, I like to uh, automate as much as I can. So backups and renaming your MP3s, whatever, you know, so 
Um, th th this is just how everything basically got started. Uh, I needed to find a way now to make tests, to automate tests, and um, so I started fiddling around. We started fiddling around with with Bash, with uh, Bash scripts, and all that we were essentially doing here is uh, um, we're starting up a virtual machine, virtual box. Um, this is a a default uh, vanilla Ubuntu installation. There's nothing uh, extraordinary here. The only thing that we did have to do to make sure that we can use this for testing uh, e-government sites was to install the smart card readers. Now, the smart card readers are provided free of charge. I don't know if anyone knows. It's made by Mini Lector. Um, the good thing is we have uh, all the all the free software in the uh, main software repositories. Um, for the for for the, your main distribution, so they are in the software channels. You just have to yum, uh, yum them or app get them, and you can. This is a uh, uh, PCSD CCID uh, one. There, I'll go into that later. There's a couple of packages you need to install. Once that's installed, your smart card reader works out the box. Well, it's plug and play. We are hoping that maybe eventually later. Um, uh, some distributions could eventually already have these drivers pre-installed, so that when you plug in your, your smart card reader or most smart card readers that it would sort of just work out the box. That that would be nice. Um, uh, what we're doing over here now, we've we've started up the virtual machine, we fired up the, the e-government website. Um, this is where we experienced one problem was now how to get past this login barrier. Um, you won't be able to see it running over there, but uh, we're, if anyone's familiar with a tool uh, called Seculi, we're using uh, uh, Seculite to get the, past this problem, and what it's doing is that it's emulating the user by clicking on the button and um, filling in the PIN code. Once you've got this, that I just blurred out the <laughs> information on there. Um, one, once you've got this and you accept the certificate, you've authenticated with the uh, municipal services, and this is now my personal um, area. And over here, this is where I can do all my things like pay my property taxes and, and all of that. Now, from here on, this is where we could uh, um, start using uh, um, Selenium to do the tests. Um, the, the bulk of the work is certainly done by Selenium. Um, I'm no Selenium expert. I'm hoping that uh, someone eventually could give pointers on how to do really good tests in Selenium. But um, essentially, uh, everything starts starts running from here we we need to we, we've got quite a lot of services that we need to test so we need to go through them writing the test in selenium does take uh, time it is a lot of work but we feel at least in on our solution that um it's uh, um it's a good way to uh, um it, it's, it's worth the effort it's worth the effort to, to to write the test because we can reuse them and if something changes then um it, it should. It, it's, you. You don't have to. You don't have a lot of work to to fix it up. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, you can see Selenium's running now. It started up. We we used Bash to uh, copy over the uh, Selenium jar file, uh, test cases, test suites. All of it is, is pushed over to the guest operating system. It's running now. You can see the test being generated. So this is the part where you can then sit back, fold your thumbs. It looks like you're working really hard, but everything is all being done alone. <laughs> which is uh, uh, pretty cool. Once all the tests are, um, tests are run, the reports are generated in a, um, a nice, easy to read HTML format. This is great then for uh, um, seeing where, where, er where errors are. We are hoping further on, as the project progresses, to uh, um, automatically send this to a web server where you can view them in a sort of log and see, oh, okay, we did these and these tests on this distribution on this day. Where did something go wrong? What did go wrong? Um, let's let's try and fix the problem. Also, let's uh, support the local government in uh, um, in helping them fix these problems. But yeah, there you see, for example, one one failed, and so now the the, the scripts are uh, um, shutting everything down, uh, saving everything, and the next machine will start up. And this could be then a, a 32 bit. Ubuntu, uh, a Fedora, an OpenBSD, um, whatever. Um, to explain a little bit what the, what the scripts are doing there, there in the background, um, 
this since since it's a couple of scripts, we decided to call him uh, a virtual machine manager. Um, and essentially, the workflow, it's, it's, it's really basic. You know, we, we got some bash stuff that's uh, uh, starting up virtual box. Uh, logging can normally be configured by the operating system as well to automatically log in. Um, we're starting SQLi in this version, just get rid of the, uh, um, uh, to, to handle the login problem that we experience. Uh, then get Selenium up and running, do the test for us, uh, generate reports, send it back to us, uh, shut everything down, rinse and repeat, and and, and so forth. Um, code is also nothing uh, extremely complicated. A uh, couple of functions uh, written in Bash just to see which, which clients are up and running, uh, what are we listening for, etc., uh, etc. Et so it's uh, um, it, it's probably it might not be the best solution. Um, maybe someone else knows a better solution, um, but so far it, it seems it seems to be working uh, uh, okay. Um, so just to make a very, very quick uh, uh, summary of everything, the bulk of the work is done by Selenium. Uh, SQLi is handling the, the, the smart card login issue. Maybe Selenium can do that. I don't know if anyone knows so if Selenium can handle a, 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 a login with a smart card. I'm not too sure. These are the libraries that I'm busy using now to, to handle the, um, the smart card reader, uh, PCSD, libccid, OpenSC. Um, all to be found, all free software. Many thanks to the guys who wrote them. They work really well. Um, what's critical for us for, for, automati for automating this and also for using a virtual box um, is that when updates are coming out, if there's a new kernel update or a distribution upgrade or something like that, we can automate this, we can test it. And after the update, still see if, if everything is working. So can we still use the smart card uh, uh, reader to log in? Uh, the services should generally be okay, but hey, you never know. That's why we're there to, to, to test. And through this, we can then make sure, at least for the uh, um, for free software users, that uh, they pretty much always have access to, uh, to the e-government services. Critical about this, this all needs to be automated because you can't have people really sitting there and and doing this every day, it must it must all it must all run alone, and it must all run alone um, in the background. Uh, the, the good thing is now that um, the government has moved to the web, uh, they or they have made the initiative as well to not leave out free software users. This is critical. We really hope that it's with uh, that it spreads on 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 two different uh, European regions and governments as well. Um, the government has said, our government at least, then has said, well, we give the people a choice. They, they don't have to use proprietary systems. They can use uh, uh, free software systems as well. Um, another thing uh, to mention is that it's not about creating a new community with us. We are here to work with existing communities, people here at FastM, um, existing uh, Linux communities. I know that um, there are people from Belgium here, right, I suppose, in the crowd. Oh, there we go. Uh, the staff, yeah, <laughs> duh, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, from Estonia, maybe, I, uh, oh, 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 there we go. Oh, great, this is wonderful, yeah, hi. <laughs> um, now, I, I, I know that, that these guys are very advanced in their uh, e-government services, from what I could see. I, I think even online voting and stuff is being done, from what I've been gathering, so I'd love to speak to you guys afterwards, get some of your feedback, see how you guys do your thing. Um, yeah, so that's all about working here together with uh, uh, existing communities. Back home, we uh, work together with uh, uh, our local uh, Linux user group. We have an uh, um, active mailing list, busy discussing the issues with getting the smart card readers to work, um, people are having problems, um, helping them fix some people then, oh, but the card doesn't work and I installed this and so we, we've added some scripts to install the packages automatically for them, but still sometimes go wrong. So this is why we feel the need, we need to automate this, that we we really have a nice, good way of showing that, uh, or of, of making sure that, that, that everything works. Um, another community we've had the chance to work with is a Free Software Foundation Europe. Uh, they were at a conference we held um, in South Tyrol recently. They came and did a, a free your Android workshop, and they were there busy freeing Android devices. But the cool thing what they did was over there, um, they installed Ubuntu on a uh, Nexus 7 device. So 
the nice thing about this now is because it's Ubuntu that's been ported to the Nexus 7, most of the software channels are already available. So uh, it was pretty easy just installing the, 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 the drivers for the card reader here and then using a, a, a micro USB to USB adapter. Right, I've got to hurry up now. So you can essentially log in. So if, if your wife had to call you or something and say, did you, man, did you pay the garbage bill? Yeah, sure I did. You can quickly do it on the train, you know, so that you don't get in trouble. But this would probably be the first step into to mobile computing. Uh, the guys from C Arduino are using uh, uh, our tool uh, to build their stuff. That's pretty cool, thanks to them. Uh, if you guys want to help out, um, uh, everything is on GitHub. It's on our web page. Uh, I'll be happy to speak to anyone afterwards. If no one wants to speak to me, I want to speak to one or two guys that, that I saw here. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, thank you everyone very much for your time. And uh, hope to see you at GitHub on our, on our web page. And uh, thanks, thanks. Thanks a lot.